Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Ganit. My name is Samir Sodana and in this video I will be discussing the fourth golden rule of geometry with proof out of 50 golden rules of geometry that we will be discussing in this complete series. Series is going to be helpful for all the students who are going to appear for MB entrance exams like CAT, IFT, ZAT, SNAP, ANMET and also the students who are appearing for government jobs exams like SSC, CGL, IBPS, PO, CDS and also the students for IP MAT. Now, uh, this particular rule number four that we are going to discuss is, is a property of orthocenter and we will first learn the implementation of the rule. We will first talk about what this rule is, we will learn the implementation and then we will learn the proof of it, right? So in, in this complete series, I will also be telling the proof of each and every theorem that I am discussing with you guys. Okay, so uh, what in this question, what is in this question, see that. Uh, there is a triangle ABC and you can see that this red circle is circumscribing the triangle ABC. Why it is circumscribing? Because vertices of the triangle ABC are on the circumference of the circle. That means it is circumscribing the triangle ABC. Now, you can see that AQ is altitude, right? Because it is perpendicular to the opposite side BC. BP is also altitude because it is perpendicular to the side AC from the vertex B. Now, the line BP is extended meeting the circumference of the circle at E. Line AQ is extended meeting the circumference of the circle at D. The length of PE is given to you as 3 cm. Length of QD is 4 cm. We are supposed to find out the length of HE plus HD. This is the length that we are supposed to find out. Alright. So the rule is, the rule is that on which this, pro, this complete question is based. And if you know this rule, the question can be solved within 10 seconds. What is this rule? First, you are supposed to know is that the point of intersection of the altitude of the triangle is known as the orthocenter of the triangle. Point of intersection of the altitudes of the triangle is known as orthocenter of the triangle. And the rule says the orthocenter, when reflected from any side of the triangle, then the image of the orthocenter will be made on the circumference of the circle. Now, when I say the image of orthocenter when reflected from any side of the triangle will be made on the circumference of the circle. That means, that means the length of PE will be same as length of HP and length of QD will be same as length of HQ. So you see that HE plus HD, HE is HE plus HD, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 6, this is 4, so this will also be 4, not 3, right? This is 3, this will also be Four, right so this is 4 guys all right so qd is 4 so i can also say hq is 4 that means the complete length 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 3 11 11 plus 3 will be equal to 14 centimeter and this is the answer of the question now what is the rule listen again you see that if you know this rule answer can be straight away found in 10 second the rule is orthocenter when reflected from any side of the triangle the image of the orthocenter will be made on the circumference of the circle. Right, that means, now when you try to see yourself in the mirror, the image, image that you can see, the, the image that you see of yourself in the mirror is at the same distance as the distance you are away from the mirror. So that means, this distance will be same as this distance because E is an image of orthocenter. So the length of HP and PE will be same and the length of HQ and QD will also be same. Right. Uh, image means if I if I treat AC as a mirror, if I treat AC as a mirror, then the image of H will be made on the circumference of the circle. If I treat BC as a mirror, then the image of H will be lying on the circumference of the circle. If I treat AB as a mirror, the image of H will be lying on the circumference of the circle. That means this length and this length will be same. That's it. This is the rule that you're supposed to know. Now let's talk about Let's talk about the proof of it, guys. Now that we have done the question, we have learned the complete solution of the question, right? The answer will be 14 centimeter. Now let's learn why the length of HQ and QD is same or the length of HP and PE is same. Very, very simple. You are supposed to know, you are supposed to know one rule of circle to prove it. See that if I join the side BD with D, B with D, can I join the side B with D? Yes, I can join, right? Now, now it's very, very easy to prove guys. You can easily prove it. All I want to prove is that HQ is same as QD. That means I need to prove, I need to prove these two triangles as congruent triangle. 
right? I need to prove these two triangles are congruent. Now listen carefully. See guys, the arc CD is making an angle A, right? You can see that. CD is making an angle theta here, right? Can I say that? The same arc CD is also making an angle B. So this will also be theta. Why? Because angle made by the same arc in alternate segment on the circumference of the circle will be same. So if this angle is theta, this angle will also be equal to theta, right? Okay. Now this is 90, this is theta. Can I say this angle will be 90 minus theta? Right? Why this is 90? Because this is altitude, right? So this is 90 minus theta. Now you see that these are the two straight line. So these are the two vertically opposite angles. So can I say this will also be 90 minus theta? And now see that this is 90, this is 90 minus theta. So this angle will be theta. Now look at these two sides. Can you see these two sides, uh, these two triangles BHQ and BQD? Now because BHQ and BQD, theta and theta are same, right? 90 minus, this is 90, so this angle will also be 90, so this angle will be 90 minus theta, right? This angle is same as this angle, this is 90, this is 90, this is theta, this is theta. Can I say this triangle is congruent to this triangle? Both of these two triangles are congruent. If these two triangles, why they are congruent? Because all three angles are equal as well as this one side is also common. So once you prove that two angle and one side is same, that means triangles are congruent with the rule of uh, ASA, right? So these two, and also you can prove that this angle is same as this angle. So BD will also be same as BH. So this side is same as this side, this angle is same as this angle, this angle is same as this angle, 90, 90, this side is also common, triangle are congruent. So I can say that HQ will be same as QD. Hence prove, this is what we want to prove, that the image of H will be made on the circumference of the circle when reflected from the side BC. That means the length of HQ and QD will be same. Similarly, you can also prove HP and PE will also be same. Keep this rule in mind, very, very helpful rule, right? If you know this, you can solve the questions based on it very easily and within fraction of seconds. See you then in the next part of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also please share it with all the students. I'm going to upload the complete syllabus for all the students preparing for MBA entrance exam as well as for government job entrance, right? Students targeting CAT and other MBA entrance exams like ZAD, IFT, SNAP. Also students preparing for SSC, CGL, CDS, and IP Mat. Subscribe to the channel. There are a lot of content which will be coming your way on this channel. That is Easy Kanit. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to like the video and share the video. Thank you.